Why people, every minute, now sitting there is up, my black sitting there, every minute, I put the phone on the tear off. I don't know them little thing they want to stick on, man, for um, make you roll up the phone. Every press me press this bomb buckle like that, right? put on it, phone drop off. I don't know why I'm going to take you off. But anyway, blessed morning, my people. What kind of money is I need to make a road? Oh, it's a taxi, man. The taxi, man, look. You yeah, see, man, come up in a road, the wave, you know, man. Like, someone ain't white, man, and you're afraid, you know, because, you know, one, take a look. Man, go just take out, go and start shoot. Because I feel them thinking that, you know. You know, them just decide, say, you know, man. I go just do some fuck you in the early morning, you know. Because look, I don't want to go try to take out Trump. Look where, look where, look where him want and believe him, I'm going to get him, I'm going to escape. But I mean, I know. I mean, uh, but anyway, me there, I'm going to start work back at my old workplace. Pull a drop me for five hours today or something. Start work back at my old workplace, you know. But most of the company want me to come back. They've been, been calling me, you know, from the day I left, you know. From, from I left, you know, about, you know, they never stop. My old boss called me every day. Send me snap every day, check up on me, you know. Until I look at me and say, Boy, if you can't give me the contract I really want, I work with it. You know, say, the man, my boss, go to the, to the length, even when they are Thailand, you know, they are Thailand for vacation. And he never stop until the contract make. So I'm tell the CEO now to make the contract, the CEO make the contract, send me the contract. I sign the contract and send it back to him. Be quite sure you now say most of the Vibe Studio fans them. Are Vibe Studio, Vibe Studio supporter. You know me always talk about one manager boy who work there. When the man they hate me until they can't hate me no more. Yeah, they man they hit me with a passion. You understand? You know, say if Thursday, I start work. I leave the other workplace and I go there and I start work. Friday, I work. Saturday, I work. Sunday, I work. You know, so the manager boy ain't say nothing at all to me. Thursday and Friday. Because Thursday and Friday, my boss and the CEO went there. So he could get to be powerful. That man wait until them gone because them they have vacation so they only come come give me the contract and left. Cause we not deal with manager. You know, we can't deal with the manager business. I know in my boss the company. We, we can't deal with him. We deal with CEO and them something. There. You know, we deal with with, with the higher up. We can't deal with the little micro man them. Yeah, son. Me and my boss talk, and I say, look in the money, see if you're going to bring me back to another company. Yeah? Make sure me and this man yeah, never, you know, see eye to eye. I don't want to have nothing to do with this man. I don't want to look at all. You understand? If you can just tell this man, say, yo, look, avoid me. The boss say, yeah, everything good. Everything smooth. He say, all right, then give thanks. So I go to Bamson and we lift. When I go over there and I start work. Yesterday you now, Monday, when I look, I go to work and after I done, I must have about 10 bucks I make already, you know, 10 big dirty bucks. You know. Man, I come and tell me, say, me I work without a contract. I say, what the fuck you mean by me I work without a contract? What you know about me? I say, brother, I talk to the, the upper, the big boss, and him send me my contract. What do you hear? And me we offshore, me sign the contract when me slung in on the plane. The man send the contract to me, me sign it, and send it back to him. In on the plane. You understand? Oh, you are the boss. Rascal, I rank here, I'm driving today. 
And the wrong blood clot car we drive today. And me just washed yesterday, you know, man. I just washed this bumbo clot here yesterday. The rain a fall. This no look good. It's a car I'm not driving in a rain, none at all, you know. I'm not driving in a rain, I'm not driving in a snow. You know? A C class after going in a rain and snow. You know, but anyway. I go to Amsterdam and I say, yo, look, I don't know what you're talking about because I signed my contract and the CEO have it in an email. Yala, my boss have it in a team email. So if you don't have it, why, kind of bad. It's sad, for, it's sad for you, but you have to take that up with them. You have to take that up with them. You can't take that up with me. So I look at him and I say, hold on there, who is my boss? Are you my boss? And he say yes. And I say, no. That can't be possible because that is not the deal where we have. Uh, he might be boss of the company, so he might be I say, no, brother. No, no, no. I go straight back through the door. You understand? This man who look at me and tell me, say, me not allow for work 50% over time. And me is not allow for work. 100% overtime. That means, say, eh, if you come to work and work 12 hours and get normal pay for the whole entire 12 hours, I look at the man and I say, Gunman, you fucking idiot. I just leave a job when me can work as much as me want whenever me want. If you come back and help, Uno, are you a tell me, say? Are you a help me? You come like he's a mad bumbo clown, man. I swear, he's a madman. You, you don't never know, say, the company call me and ask me for help. You are the boss and you don't know nothing. That's embarrassing, man. That's embarrassing. May I come back to work and you are the boss and you don't know about it. That means that they don't have the fucking respect for your body, man. That means that they don't have no respect for you. You are the boss and the brand new foreman who just started work last week. Him knows so may I come back. But you as the boss don't know. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, idiot. How the fuck you finna know so may I come back? And the brand new foreman who had just start work, him know. Something alright. So I said, look the man, stop coming to me with your fuckery and go on to the boss. Go on up to the bigger heads them. You talk to the bigger heads them, the bigger heads them talk to me. Me and you don't have no conversation at Bumbo Clark. None. And any day, me work overtime and you try to take one of my blood clad hours. Straight through the door. And I said, I can promise you one thing. I will come and up and I will work seven and a half hours every day. It won't cost me a dollar. One of my half short paycheck, about three years. I never tell him that still, but you know, I won't tell him. So I just look at him and tell him, say, look, I will never come here and work an hour extra 